Hello again, great to be with you. Um, we've been looking at uh, the, the topic of being in service to God over the last few days and today I want us to look at uh, our authority to act uh, on behalf of God. Um, I'm going to be, we're going to look at uh, Luke chapter 10 verse 19 where, which says this and it says I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. I have to say that this is one of my favourite verses in the Bible, and it, it's a favourite for a couple of reasons. The first is that Jesus spoke these words over a group of disciples who were probably not that much different from you and I. They were just ordinary people who had caught something of the vision uh, of what Jesus was doing and thought, I want to be part of that. I want to be part of what heaven is doing in that situation. And I love the idea that Jesus trusted those ordinary people. They just had jobs like you and I do and did things in life that are not too different to the way that we go about doing things. But he trusted them to go out and do things in his name, to minister in his name the way that he had been doing. And I love that idea that he trusts his people to do that. The picture he painted in that verse is one of evil as, as it's represented by scorp scorpions and snakes. The creatures that were often used to describe evil because they hide in places where they aren't seen and they cause a great deal of pain and suffering when they come out. And I love that he says, you have authority to trample on evil. It's not just step on it or rub it out, but trample it. There's something kind of active in this that says, you know, really go to it. You can, you can overcome this. I used to, to work in health and safety um, and once whilst I was out doing a site inspection I found some equipment that was quite dangerous. I hadn't been in the job very long and because I was being put under a little bit of pressure to allow the work to continue I called my boss and asked for his advice. He asked me some very simple questions. He said, is it dangerous? And I said yes. He said, could someone get hurt? I said yes. He said, OK, then you have authority to stop the work to keep people safe. And if anybody tries to interfere or ignores what you say, then direct them to me. And that's kind of how this works. You know, Jesus doesn't want people to get hurt. He wants people to know him, to know his love, to know his grace, to know his mercy, to know the blessings of heaven. So he's given us authority to overcome the things that cause harm that cause hurt and pain among his people so we can pray for the sick we can uh, address the needs of those who are struggling we can um, help people through all manner of difficulties because Jesus Jesus gave us authority to do it so we should shouldn't we just get on with it pray for people heal the sick cast out evil spirits that's what he told us to do to pour out his goodness on the earth Let's pray. Lord, I pray that you would help us to not be held back by fear. Your word says that fear of man will prove to be a stumbling block. So let us not trip over that fear, but let us see your power at work through each one of us as we minister to those that we meet. Help us, Lord, to step into the authority that you've given us and to minister in the power of, of that authority. So be poured out on each one of us today. Bless us and open our eyes to the things that you are wanting to do. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.